This is section 9-2. We're going to be converting between radians and degrees. So the first thing is going to be converting radians to degrees and degrees to radians, and then we're going to find the sector of circular area. Now when we convert between radians and degrees, hopefully there was a relationship that was established in the previous lesson. One thing that we should have realized is the distance traveled for pi is the same for 180. They equal each other. Pi equals 180. Now because of that we can use this idea of pi equaling 180 as a ratio to be able to convert from one to the other. And so I kind of have the map right here for you guys. This will help you to convert from degrees to radians. You multiply by this statement. To convert from radian to degrees, you multiply by this statement. So convert from 135 degrees to radians. So I want the degrees to cancel out. So remember, there's two of these ratios. And a lot of the times we think, well, which one do I use? Like, right, because there's two. Well, we have to think, what's going to cancel out? If I'm trying to convert from degrees to radians, that means I want the degrees to cancel out, which means if I have degrees on top, I want degrees on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply by pi over 180. So the degrees as a unit are going to cancel out. And so the rest is just all simplifying here. So you have 135 pi over 180. And I believe that's going to be 3 pi over 4. Because there's 45 degrees, 3 times, 45 degrees, 4 times. Take your time on that. Next one. This one is convert from radians to degrees. So I want the radians to cancel out. So I'm going to multiply by 180 over pi, because now those will cancel out. And so that's going to give me 180 over 3, which is 60 degrees. So whatever the unit you want cancels out, you want to make sure that's on the bottom. So I want you to give this one a shot. Convert from degrees to radians. Okay, so 330, we want the degrees to cancel out, so you should have multiplied by pi over 180, and then the rest is just all simplifying from there. So from here, I think 30 degrees 11 times, 30 degrees 6 times, so that's 11 pi 6. And this one, 5 pi 4. I want you to give that one a shot, convert it from radians to degrees. Okay, so going over this, you should have 180 over pi. That cancels out. 4 and 180 also cancels out. That should give you 45. And so 5 times 45, 225. In the degrees. Now the area of a sector. So the equation for the area of a sector is for area of a circle, sorry, is pi r squared. And that's something that we should have memorized. So we can actually manipulate this equation to find the area of a circle. We're going to use this idea of circumference to kind of help us just a little bit. So we know that with the circumference, that's normally 2 pi r. Now, r the radius, but 2 pi, that's the rotation. We're going around the entire circle 2 pi, right? And we go around it 2 pi, and that's how we can find what the circumference is. If I was only, if this was pi r, I'm finding what half of the circumference is. And so we could actually, if we know that 
it takes 360 degrees or it takes 2 pi to go around the entire circle, well, we can create a ratio of that. We're only going to say we're only going this much to be able to do that. So if I wanted to find the area of this sector right here, we have to do pi r squared. So pi times 2 inches squared. But my rotation is only pi thirds. I'm only traveling pi thirds. So that means I'm only going pi thirds out of my 2 pi. I'm not going all the way 2 pi. I'm only going pi thirds out of my 2 pi. Going all the way would be I'm going 2 pi out of the 2 pi distance. But I'm only going pi thirds out of the 2 pi distance. And so this value right here, this would be your answer. And this is something that you would enter into your calculator. Um, what's a, another, what's a cleaner way of looking at that? Let's see. So pi thirds times pi times 2 inches squared all over 2 pi. And then maybe that 3 can go on the bottom. So pi squared 2 inches squared over 6 pi. The pi's could cancel out. I don't know. But that's something that we just generally enter in our calculator. And you can simplify that. That can be 4 over 6, right? So you can, you can simplify that. So look at another one. What happens when it's in degrees, though? Right, so we still have the equation for area, pi r squared. So that's the equation for area, but I'm only traveling 210 degrees out of 360. So I'm only traveling that much. And so then this is something that we would enter in our calculator. I want you guys to try this one out. Okay, so pi r squared, so that's the equation for area, but I'm only traveling 270 degrees out of 360, so I'm not going the entire way. So what did we learn today? Well, we talked about how to convert between radians and degrees. Remember, they are both units that measure rotation, right? They both measure rotation. So you could describe the angle using either degrees or radians. Then we also talked about how to find the area of a sector. So how do you convert from radians to degrees? You either multiply by these ratios. So remember we said we had two ratios or this one. So this one is saying from radians to degrees. And so that means that I want the radians to cancel out. So you'd multiply by this one because it's on the bottom, and that's how it's going to cancel out. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.